Hey guys, what is up? So, what I decided to do was I was going to make an all Steelers team. And you may be looking at this and you see this, the dairy screen, and say, wait a minute, this is Chargers. It says it right there. You know, that's, it says he's a Charger, not a Steeler. Actually, Ladarius signed a four-year contract with Pittsburgh this offseason. Um, Ryan Harris. Now, he's in a Chiefs uniform, but it says free agent. He didn't end the 2015 season as a free agent. He ended it with the Broncos and won the Super Bowl as um, one of their tackles. So, then the Steelers signed him to a one-year contract, I believe. And he's going to be the left tackle, even though it says right tackle. So that explains that. So by this, you can tell it's a 2016 NFL season roster. So um, you may or may not know, Martavis Bryant did get suspended, but I'm going off the fact that, you know, you look it up on Google, it says he's a wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Even Josh Gordon um, from the Browns, who's been suspended for a little bit, still says he's a wide receiver for the Browns. So. But I know this isn't the best. Um, I know it's not the best Ben. But the best Ben is over 300K. I know that's not the best Antonio Brown, but that one's... Like... 250k so I wasn't going to spend a whole lot of money but um, then if you go to the defense that's not the best Ryan Shazier I know the best Ryan Shazier is the 98 overall position hero um, James Harrison is coming back so I have him at right outside linebacker now even though this card says Bud Dupree is a right outside linebacker. He mainly plays left outside. So that's why he's over on the left. I know that's not the best Lawrence Timmons, but, I mean, it's hard to find the 92 Timmons. And then it's just too expensive. It's overpriced of what it is. Um, so I did get the best Mike Mitchell in 93. 97 hit power. That's, I mean, he is a punishing safety. Now, there are some other draft picks the Steelers had this year or this past weekend. But they don't have cards for it. They only have cards for the first round pick, R.D. Burns, that they picked at 25. Um, you know, Vince Williams over here. Um, so, Shamarco Thomas is still a strong safety. Uh, Robert Golden is the backup for both. Okay, so on the. So, I do have R.D. Burns. Then I have Will Gay, and then you're thinking, well, that's Bills, but it's Ross Cockrell. He got cut by the Bills before the 2015 season started, and then Pittsburgh picked him up. So that's why he's here. Then you have Duran Grant, and Zink was Golston. Both were draft picks in the 2015 NFL Draft. You have Stefan Tuitt, final edition. This card is literally less than 5,000 coins. And it doesn't look like he should be less than 5,000, but that's what it is. He's less than 5,000 coins with those stats. It's crazy. Um, then there's Dan McCullers, but they did sign, uh, or they did draft, um, a defensive tackle, but obviously I can't get it. Then Ricardo Matthews, Cam Hayward, this one's like 30 grand. Does he play to 30 grand? Not really. If you ask me, Stefan to it's better. And then... That's real. And then at the specialist, this is where I got now Chris Boswell. Okay. He is he was the fourth kicker the Steelers had. Sean Sweesom tore his ACL in the um, 
Hall of Fame game. Then they had, I can't remember his name, started with like an H. His last name started with an H, like Hearts, Hartgridge or something like that. He had a knee injury during the preseason game in Buffalo. Then they traded with Jacksonville for Josh Scobie. He just absolutely sucked. And turns out he actually had a knee, or no, he had a hip injury, which is why he was kicking so bad. I don't know if that's true or not, but. So then they signed Chris Boswell. He did really well. Now, punter Bradwing. They don't have a Jordan Berry. Brad Wing was on the team last year before he got traded to the Giants. But they don't have a Jordan Berry, so I had to take Brad Wing. Um, if you notice, I do not have Dree Archer because he's not on the Steelers anymore. They cut him um, before they signed Jacoby Jones, and that didn't work out. So, um... I do have the most feared Hayward Bay. Um, the Steelers did just sign Bruce Gretkowski to a um, one-year contract. So I did have Landry Jones. Now it's Gretkowski. Um, Roosevelt Nix is now the fullback. They gave him a one-year contract. And David Johnson, I believe, is the other fullback. He signed with the Giants, I think. This is the 95 signature bell. It may only have 91 speed, but this card is amazing. It really is. I think he broke three tackles in a row and scored a touchdown off like a 30-yard run or something like that. 40-yard run or something around that range. Um, so this is... And then I got the two campus heroes, and you could... Uh, and then the campus hero here. And you could argo argue that, well, it's a campus hero. This is what they did at their college. This is what they were at their college. Yes, but it still says Steelers on the card, you know? So there are a few. Um, and then I got the Easter Matt Spaeth, Jesse James. No Heath Miller because Heath Miller did retire. So... That is it, though, I believe. Ranch is here, Lawrence Timmons, and blah, 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 blah. I do have the campus hero Jarvis Jones backing up James Harrison. Jones has not lived up to what he did in Georgia. And then I have Bud Dupree, Arthur Motes. Fun fact, Arthur Motes was the last person to sack Brett Favre. He ended Brett Favre's career when he sacked him. Um, you can always look that up. Just look up Arthur Motes, Sachs, Brett Favre. Uh, that is it, though. Uh, if there were draft cards for the other draft picks, I would do it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you right now. I would definitely love to take the second rounder because they took a strong safety at second round. And he did play corner the last year of college. But... He's, he's a strong safety. That's what he is. That's his position. See, it's just Artie. So, I'm, I don't really like what they did with the draft this year. But, not up to me. All right, guys, let me know what you think of that lineup. I know it's not the best you can get, but it... And I do have 377, almost 378,000 coins, but it really is just, you know, stuff costs too much. I mean, this is priced at 350 last time I looked at the auction block, but it's actually worth less than 300 so it's too, exp it's too overpriced. The Antonio Brown is 250 the... Ryan Shazier's like 400. I know it's not the best, but it's a slightly bit of a budget team, but it's the best I could do. All right, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys soon. Later.